Pies, what's up? I have been lo- away for a long time. So I know that. So no worries. We are again back with a and this time with a challenge for you guys at the end. Today, what I have planned to do is we are making a decimal to binary converter. Okay. So as you can see over here, the folder's name. Uh, we have the convention, right? So. Uh, what we will uh, be doing is we will be figuring out one of the functions of this uh, Python which is inbuilt that is a bin function. Okay, so let's see uh, if this can give me some idea. So return the binary representation of an integer. So simplest way is this. Okay, but what I want to do is understand the algorithm behind this bin function. That's what we are doing. Okay, and it's really a short program, very short program. So Without wasting much time, let's go on right now. First of all, what we will do is, we will take an input from the user. Now what we will do, we will uh, iterate the division by two over and over again until and unless this, the integer, let's say, let's say it is x, okay? So integer input enter decimal number is enough. So now what we will be doing is we will be repeating the division over this x and making its integer part not the decimal one the integer thing to be divided by 2 again and again until it's less than 2 less than 2 means it's 1 or 0 depending upon the remainder or the number uh, input given input by the user fine so here we are now what we will do is uh, while x is greater than 2 we will not add here equal to okay while x is greater than 2 because 2 divided by 2 gives the remainder 0 right enough so while x is greater than 2 for okay what we forgot two things now here add one blank list okay because we will be using list over here then printing all the numbers from the list and add one more remainder is equal to x percentage 2 fine uh, i hope you guys know this x percentage 2 means the remainder that we get when x is divided by 2 for remainder in range 0 and 1 because we need to constantly iterate it over that's all for remainder in range 0 and 1 l dot append uh, let's add here an f string x percentage 2 because uh, what I want to do is reduce the dependency over this variable that's what I am predicting that's what I am preferring to do not predicting but that's what I am preferring to do D reduce the de uh, dependency on variables okay l dot append and now we need to take the integer part fine so x is equal to x double divided by 2 so this takes the integer part only now uh, one more thing remainder again we need to iterate this because or else uh, it will just uh, occur once remainder is equal to x percentage 2 fine so let's see if this is running or not so let's print l okay i will show you each and everything but let's just see if this iteration completes or not 12 okay let's enter an imaginary number 12 and yes so it's working perfectly fine enough now let me take you to the calculator uh, windows calculator x especially so that you guys can know what actually is happening see okay so here it is so now okay this is just for my trials so let's add a 12 and here is the number so this is what we are uh, what we have as our target fine enough okay so good let's uh, move forward now L, uh, now we need to reverse this list okay let me tell you what we are doing we are reversing this list and then add one to it one in front of it so because here uh, each and every time whenever you divide mm, hmm? wait a minute uh, okay so yeah, whenever you divide there is always one in front of this okay and then one uh, and then the uh, re remaining digits that are there fine so that's what we are targeting right now let's go to the program now 
So L dot append, we are adding one in front of it each and every time it's gonna add and L dot reverse and here we reverse the list. Now let me show you what is the output for 12. 12 and here we have 1100. Fair enough? Okay. Now we don't want this square brackets and uh, all this commas to occur, right? So let's remove this. For x in L, print x print x and end is equal to this okay so now let me tell you what does this end is equal to means see uh, whenever i am writing this so now let's we know binary of 12 is 1100 okay now what uh, our list is showing is 1 1 and so on think right and so on Okay, now I want this thing to print in this manner and not this way. Okay, so even if you use this, only this, then how the output will be shown is this way. 1, 1, 0, oh, 0, 0. It will be shown in this way and we don't want this to occur. So whenever we want to show the output in a single line, then we use this end is equal to something. Okay, now if you add a comma over here, let me tell you what will happen. 1100. Zero, zero. This will be the output. You guys can try. You guys can try. I have no issues. You pause the video. You try. But uh, let, I am telling you the output. So whatever you keep it there. If I uh, place just a space. If I place just space. 1100. Zero, zero, this will be the output. If I uh, write. If I remove anything. And just keep it as a blank. Uh, then it will be 1100. Zero, zero. Easy enough. So that's what I am saying and let me show you the output as well so that it becomes easy. So 12 and here you go. Now let me show you, uh, let's comment this code. Let's remove this. Let's comment this code. Remove this and this, this much. Okay, we are uh, commenting this code out for now and let me show you binary of 12 and we will be printing this. Print binary of 12 so it should be 1100 zero, zero. yes so 0 b 1100 zero, zero. here you have the answer pretty enough so our code is working fine so and that's all you guys can try this okay now the challenge what i have done is made the logic over here right uh, we have got the logic we have got everything over here now the challenge is, the challenge is, you have to make the same thing using tkinter module. Alright? So that's all for the video. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Thanks. Bye-bye.